Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with this uh, form component from uh, Inertia. We had before this use form helper, but now we have uh, the form component. So Inertia provides a form component that behaves much like a classic HTML form, but uses Inertia under the hood to avoid full page reloads. And this is the simplest way to get started with forms in Inertia. And we have Vue React as well. So just import the form component from Inertia for Vue View 3 and then say form, pass in the action and the method. Okay. And the inputs, of course. Now I have created a project and let me just open right here. And here I have in the for the users so also i have opened the project right here i have user slash create and we have a basic form a name email password and password confirmation and here i have an example this is the create and we have this basic form which is this one i have imported the form and also the input And yeah, on the form I just put the action and the method and the input for the name, uh, email, password and password confirmation. And right now, uh, also let me just open the user controller. And on the create we turn that create page and then on the store we validate the data and then just say user create and return back with success but this is just here so we return back with first create and then return back so if i say fake filler here and create the user now the user is created we return back and let me just show you also as the user is created if i go to users right now we have two users so let's refresh and let's create another one and now if i refresh we have this third user and uh wait a zoom it like this okay but when we create the user first we don't clean the the form so for that we can go on the code and here as you can see we have this basic this is a basic form and I have here three examples. First, we start with a basic form, so just uh, this one. But now we have also the reset form. What I said is the, when we clean, when we create, for example, let's clean the form. And here I have a reset form, so let's uncomment the reset and comment the basic. The same, and we need to import the reset form. And now let's open this reset form. So this is the same as the basic. Just here on the form component, we put this reset on success. So when we have a success, it's going to reset the inputs. And yeah, we need to save this. Now if I come here and refresh and let's create another user. If I say create a user, now the user is created and the form is cleaned uh, so for that we use this reset just by passing reset on success here okay good what if uh, i hit create i click on the create button nothing happened no errors nothing so for that let's come here and uh, comment now this one and uncomment the slot props and also up here uncomment this save and let's open the slot props so on the form now we have action and also the method but also we can add this default and distract the errors uh, has errors process in progress and so on but what we are here for now is these errors so we distract the errors and we can say Pass in the div here and check if we have the error's name, display that, also email and so on. And yeah, 
I also worked with this processing and it was successful. So on the button, if this is processing, I'm going to say creating, otherwise create the user. And then if was successful, we say user created successfully. So if I refresh and say create user, now we have errors. And I refresh, uh, let's use a fake filter. And if I say create now, yeah, creating and now user created successfully. Okay. So now we have also this one. Yeah, also we can call this reset on success. And it's going to reset the form. Okay, so we worked with a basic and reset form. Also with a slot props form. But let me just open. Instead of user, users create. I have also the posts create. And here I have a title, body, and also the file. So let me just open that. I'm going to close everyone and just open the create in the post directory and here i have a transform form if i click here we have a form with the action and the method which is okay but then i have added this transform and here we have a data and i'm going to distract the data and then I'm going to update this slug because if I open the post controller yeah I'm going to say dying dump just to show you but here we have a title slug content the image image is no label but the content is required and the slug is required and the title is required without this transformation here we can just work with title and then the slug we can say uh, data slug to be str slug data title but because we have now that option in the view we can transform this title to a slug so data title the string the lowercase and replace spaces with a dash here okay so let me just show you if i refresh and i'm going to use a fake filler here and say publish you can see here we we have a title and here we have the slug lowercase and a dashes inside the when we have spaces also if we select the image so I selected the image and now if I say publish, yeah, we have the image here. And of course we can upload the image on the backend and so on. But what I wanted to show you is that the, we have a transform and also on the create users, we have basic reset and slot props. And also here the transform so we can transform the data directly from here okay now let's go to users and instead of users create i'm going to navigate the user users edit but users for example slash one slash edit and yeah as you can see we have this form with a name and the email and we have the name of the user uh, of this user so if i change that to two we have another name so let's see the default values when we work with this form component and for that we need to open the edit yeah we have imported the input and the form then i have defined the user because on the post controller index uh, not index but not post controller, so user controller. Edit, we turn the, the inertia users edit and pass the user here. So for that we have defined that user, which is a type object. Now we can use also type user here, but for now let's leave it like this. And then we have a form, the action now, because it's going to be in the slash users slash, we need to pass here the user ID. I have passed like this change the method to be put and yeah the defaults here what i told you but now on the input we i have added the default value 
to be username like this okay for that we have so if i comment this and yeah we need to remove this now if i refresh yeah we don't have the full name but if i leave it like this now we have that full name and we can update so for example i add two dots update the user and user updated successfully and we have two dots here also if i refresh we have that two dots so this is the default value how we can work with this form component for the update for the editing the resource now also one more thing i want to show you with this is to use uh, when you use a wayfinder instead of hard coded the url we can use that so we can say import and for example we can import the update method from slash actions slash uh, app stp controllers and user controller and now we can use this update in here okay so we can say now update and we need to pass the user dot id okay so if you want you can work with the wayfinder to import the methods from the controller so this is the update from the user controller and we say update on that action we don't need to put the method here now because we use uh, the update and the inner check is going to know that this update has the method yeah method put and pass and the url which is a string so now if i come here and refresh we have two dots but if i remove and say update the user user updated successfully refresh and now works again correctly okay friends so that's it all about this video i think i showed you all of them so uh, the basic form when you create the user yeah the reset form also slot props form on the create post the transformer and here are the default and also to use with a wayfinder instead of hard code in the url now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and share with your friends and i'm going to see you in the next video all the best thank you very much